Hello! This is reasons I love the Harry Potter books. Uh, just the books. I think the movies deserve a video of their own to discuss why I enjoy them. Um, you ever notice in the movies how, like, Dobby was like, barely even in them? It's like, I don't know, he was really like Dobby as a character, and I liked how they brought him back and, like, Goblet of Fire and all that, and actually gave him more development, I guess you could say. I would like to say that Sirius and Remus are probably my favorite Harry Potter characters, and they felt like they had more of a role in the books. So, like they had more importance in the books than in the movies. I'm speaking of bigger roles. Jenny, Jenny Weasley was, um, I don't remember a scene of her from, of hers from Harry Potter. I don't think in the movies, anyways, but the the book she played a more important role, and so did Neville. I like how the books, like later on, like uh, Order of the Phoenix, and on after that tried to make it about Neville and Jenny too, and not just Hermione, Ron, and Harry. Because personally, I always thought Neville was the funniest character in the books, because of all the accidents that happen to him, and then he becomes a badass, and Order of the Phoenix, and it's like, really? That's kind of cool. I loved his development arc in the books. I guess you could say his story, his character development in the books. Jenny's too. Uh, I did notice in the movies that they didn't really have any scenes from the books that portrayed characters too negatively. That's what I always liked about the books, especially in Dumbledore's case, because I don't, they didn't touch on how dark Dumbledore's history was in the movie. You know, in the movies. And the books, I loved how they like, push it right in your face, right up in your face, that he's not perfect. But he does have faults. I also thought, like, that Harry's, um, blood protection, the reason he has to stay at the Dursleys and all that, I always liked how that was explained. Just uh, explained, period, and a little bit more explained in the books. The books are definitely more funny than the movies. I really like the humor in the books. I, the funnies, not that the movies didn't have funny moments, but I just felt that the books had more humor in them, and better humor. The descriptions in the books are, well, funny, too. Like, when the animal comparisons and stuff like that are pretty funny. Uh, always, you really, you really feel like you're actually there in the book with the characters. And that's a very good description. Uh, the action parts are well written and described well too. I really liked the uh, battle between Dumbledore and Voldemort and uh, the end of Order of the Phoenix, the book, and the movie actually, but we'll get to that another time. I think the books are, are more emotional. There's more emotional moments in the books. 
and I really like that. It gives you a better look at the characters and all that. I like Harry's inner thoughts. You know, they're the main part of his character, really. And I feel that the books are only one that really, the only way to they portray it. And the movies don't. <laughs> well, unfortunate. Which I never saw that the movies portrayed his inner thoughts or anything like that. Oh, reading the match at the Quidditch World Cup in uh, Goblet of Fire was awesome. I do like Dumbledore's past with Grindelwald being explained. Cause I always thought that was the most interesting part of Deathly Hollows, really. Was Dumbledore's history with Grindelwald and his sister and his brother and all that. The, um... The three brothers and the hall, the tale of hollows and all that, that was really done well in the book. I really liked that reading that part of the book. I was willing to handle death a little bit better in the books. Like when a character dies, it's actually like everybody like feels it, you know. No. But, I did like how characters in the books got more of a part, because, like, their teachers, the professors at Hogwarts, they didn't get parts in the movies, like Ben's, uh, the astronomy professor, Sinstra, I think her name was? Or his, or her? Um, <laughs> anyway, they really broadened it out with the teachers in the books. And I just wish we had a history of magic class in uh, the movies. That would have been pretty funny to watch all those kids fall asleep. Anyway, those are the reasons I love the Harry Potter.